Hey guys, Tonic here. The PTS server just received an update and with that we have our first look at the Season 5 scoreboard. Let's take a look at it. So I actually have been avoiding most spoilers with this season so I really don't know what's going to be on this. But I can say that this scoreboard does feel very large compared to the others. Just going down here, you can see just how long it takes to really scroll through it. And I am zoomed out all the way. This is zoomed in all the way. And I am zoomed out as far as I can go in. It still does take a little bit to traverse, but it still has 100 ranks, so let's go through them all. First up we have a player icon, second we have a supply package, third a carry weight booster, and coming in at number 4 we have the fortune teller machine. Now normally ones around this rank will boost your stats to a specific thing, like the weight bench with strength and the speed bag with agility. I believe that this one would be perception, and it might even be luck as well. It could actually probably be a few things, I'm not really too sure, but still nonetheless a very cool item. We have the Inkwell Flare. We also do have some lunch boxes. The Mind Propaganda Poster. Okay, so these are pretty cool. So look onward. Unification is the key to evolution. We fight for unification. Something the mind in the back there. And then these are Nuka Cola with a dolphin and those posters right there. So that's pretty nice. Actually, the poster set is very nice for that early in the scoreboard. We have some legendary modules, um, 150 atoms, 500 caps. The Charmer hat looks pretty decent. Reminds me of the old Fallout 3 merchant hats. Oh, Blood Eagle Charmer hat. Okay, when you click on it, it adds Blood Eagle. Um, large Vault Tech supply package. The Green Skull player icon. Perk card pack. Another Mind recruitment poster set. Oh, okay, so each of these is its own poster, but it doesn't really tell you which one it is, I guess. Because they have the same preview images. Yeah, so these are probably going to be single posters, I guess, each time. And it doesn't really tell you which is which, but I assume that when this actually does go live, you will be able to know. But then moving on, we have some lunch boxes, the Mine T45 paint. And even this is kind of interesting. So right here we have this logo on the chest plate, and right here we have this logo on the chest plate. Strange. I wonder if that will be a continuing theme. But then going on, some legendary cores, that is very nice to see in here. 150 atoms, 1000 caps, the all-star flare, which is really cool. I believe that this is actually going to be in here. I have seen a few people on Twitter talking about this right here, and I am pretty stoked if that armor is going to be in here. I kind of want it. Reminds me a lot of like the Mandalorian. So then we have some perfect bubble gum, an open and close sign. Open, close. That is pretty sweet. A display frame for power armor. Okay, cool. So these were going to be in the last season, but they were delayed, and it looks like we actually should be getting them now, which is awesome. A lot of people really wanted them, myself included, so I am pretty stoked for that. We have some perk card packs, some lunch boxes, nuclear key cards. So another mind paint. So this one's for the T51. And again, the same thing. Two different icons on the chest plates. Not entirely sure what's up with that. Maybe we'll get both of them? I really don't know. Then we have some legendary script, 150 atoms, 100 gold boolean, the raider goon outfit. Oh, that looks pretty sweet, actually. Huge Fallout 3 vibes, and I, I really like that. So then we were here. So let's go to scrap kits, another player icon right here. The perk card pack, the mind paint. Oh, yeah, this is really cool. A lot of people are going to like this one. It doesn't look like the best paint for the laser gatling, but... It still does look really cool, actually. And then we have a lunchbox, a mined excavator paint, I'm assuming with two different logos. Actually, I can't really see. You can kind of see it on the back there. And on the front, it has that little fish thing. They are nice paint jobs, I'm not going to lie, but they aren't really too standout or too wow, but they are pretty decent. Some legendary cores, 150 atoms, 1,000 caps, the Raider Goon helmet, and then we have the perk card pack, and then we have a Blood Eagle paint for the combat rifle, it looks like. Oh, it's actually for the fixer right here. Well, they, they are interchangeable, but that is really nice to see that you can specifically have this for the fixer. Because at, back in the day, everything that was combat rifle skins kind of got switched over to be on a fixer. And now they're actually releasing skins right for the fixer. That is really nice to see. And this is definitely one of the coolest things in here so far. It even has like their logo kind of painted in blood on there. Very cool item, and I am probably going to grind pretty hard to get that pretty quickly. I want that right now. But then going down, we got some legendary modules, the Mine T60 paints, and again, it does have two different logos. Really not sure why. I, at this point, I kind of think that we're just getting both of them, because that would be the only way that makes sense to me. But then going down, we have 150 atoms, stairs with posts. 
Interesting. Okay, so we have three different ones here. We have the Armor Ace Stairs, it's called. The Log Cabin. And then the Guild of Antique Stairs. Very cool. I actually like this one the most. I think I kind of like the little posts there. But that is going to be very nice. Going down, we have 150 atoms, 2,500 caps. Carry Weight Booster. Mind Overlord. Player Icon. The player icons in this one are actually pretty sweet. I'm not going to lie. We have a perk card pack. Then we have the Charmer Blouse outfit as well. And... I don't really like it with the headwear, but the outfit itself actually looks very nice. I like that one a lot, actually. Going down, we have the lunch boxes, Mind X01 paint. We also have some legendary modules. We have some atoms, um, gold bullion, the charmer leather. Very nice. And then we also do have this little thing right here. I'll kind of zoom in on it. It's kind of funny looking. That dolphin man is definitely kind of creepy. Then going on, we got some scrap kits, the orange mind. We have some perk cards. Wow, there are some pretty decent heavy weapon skins in here. Actually, just overall, we have the laser gatlin, the plasma gatlin, as well as a fixer. These are all like pretty mandatory weapons that most end game players have, and to actually have these skins is really nice to see. It's awesome, actually. We have liquid courage, mind ultra sight paint, carrying on the theme of the two things. Some legendary script atoms, gold bullion. The Mind Flare, it looks alright, I don't really like the whole entire back of it, but it does look pretty sweet. And I do want to say before I go, there's a lot of consumables so far, there's not really any armor paints that I've noticed besides power armor of course, but I'm talking like combat armor, things like that, which I kind of miss and I really hope we do start getting some soon, but let's keep going. Basic Repair Kits, the Battle Cry emote, which looks so sick with that armor, so that must be in here at some point. And we have some perk card packs, the Mind T65 paint. We have some lunch boxes, the washer and dryer set. Oh, and they're stackable too. Okay, sweet. So those are pretty cool. It doesn't look like they'll have any function, but who knows? Maybe they actually will when you place them down. We have some legendary modules, 150 atoms, 2,500 caps. Some legendary modules, again, a lot of them actually, and five right back to back. Some more carry weight booster, inkwell dashing, perk card packs. And then this right here, wow, okay. So this is just like a giant claymore sword. I really hope that we get some more storyline or lore with this entire dolphin situation because it's very out there, it's very strange, but I, I like it, I am pretty interested in it. So nine lunch boxes, pretty big one there. The mind power armor paint, and there's no picture for it. I really wish we'd have a picture for that one, but keep it going. We got 250 script, 1,005, or sorry, 150 atoms. And so we do also have the backpack for this character, and I am trying to avoid saying this character's name because it does seem pretty hard to pronounce. I'm going to call it Alley Stairs because it does kind of look like Alley Stairs. So for the rest of the video, that's what I'm calling it. If it's wrong, I'm very sorry, but it kind of just looks like Alley Stairs, and I think it's kind of weird. But then going over, we have Mind Overload Beerstein, and it doesn't really look like there's too many engravings or details on this. Just kind of a dolphin head slapped on there. There are some jewels on there. Pretty standard, but... It does kind of look nice for how simplistic it is. We also do have a triumphant emote, and there's not any pictures for that. Perk coins, 50 of them. The Alley Star headwear. And I'm telling you, this looks straight out of the Clone Wars. I, I really like this helmet a lot. Then we have a birdcage. Okay. So it looks pretty nice. I wonder if the bird actually does stuff. Or if it just kind of sits there. We have some legendary cores. The Alley Star outfit. Okay. So the outfit really doesn't look too much like Star Wars. Actually, it does. It does kind of look like an old Knights of the Republic Jedi, something that they would wear. But the helmet just gives me massive Mando vibes. Maybe that with like some silver combat armor would be super sick. I'm going to try it out once it comes live. We also do have a Red Rocket Collectron Station. Okay, so they have a gas pump instead of their little thing. That is very interesting. And I am also extremely interested in seeing this guy's animations. That is pretty cool. I wonder if he walks normally like a normal human or if he kind of steps real weird like a robot like the protectrons do that is actually really cool and i'm pretty hyped for that and then last but not least we have the escape bundle and this is not going to be in the escape bundle or at least i hope not because this is all older stuff here this must just be placeholder images which is kind of strange that they put placeholder images in there and not in things like this but it does say that we're going to be getting the mind power armor the escape game board as well as 500 atoms so 500 atoms, the skateboard right here, and whatever power armor that is. It, there are no photos of the power armor in here. The other one that did have my power armor, it didn't have a photo either. So I'm pretty curious to see what that looks like. 
After looking through the entire scoreboard, I honestly do think that this season is pretty decent, it's not bad by any means, but I don't still think that it's on the same level of the previous season, and season 2 for that matter. Season 2 I still think was the best season that we've ever had. Season 1 as well was actually pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie, but this one does kind of just seem to be an alright season. It's more so filler stuff it looks like a lot of consumables still no armor paints for combat armor and marine armor and things like that which we used to get and i really do miss getting those those were very cool but still there are some pretty awesome items in there the helmet i'm really going to try and get i do want to make a mandalorian build with some laser pistols that would be pretty cool to see but i want to know your guys' thoughts on it let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it and as always a massive thank you to all the channel members Citizen Girl, Chad of Fallout 76 Podcast, Timothy James, Esdeath93, Heather Henderson, Joseph Aided, Patrick Ruta, 23 Icefire, Jay Smith, Argent Deer, Bowser Double Fring, Ice Cream Manny, Chris Decker, Robert Kennard, Theodore, Captain Awesome, Digital Aardvark, Lone Samurai OG, Diathink Gaming, Christy Mellon Schwitz. You guys are amazing. I love you guys and have a good week.